everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This film is rated M for fantasy themes and violence. This is Kia's Reviews and this is my review of Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves. Who gave Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves the right to be a good fun adventure film? Despite all of its predictability and its dragged out second act, this ended up being a really enjoyable movie in complete defiance of the awful promotional material that preceded its release. Chris Pine is one of the most charming, upbeat and entertaining actors in Hollywood and he utilises all of that charm to bring such an upbeat tone to this film, elevating every other cast member's performance. Sophia Lillis was great to see returning to the big screen after her role as Beverly in the IT remake, but for the first time since Paper Towns, just Justice Smith delivered a solid performance without annoying me. However, the most surprising cast member that turned in one of the most balanced performances and gave the film all of its warranted comedy was Hugh Grant as the overarching villain Forge Fitzwilliam. He kept the comedy afloat, and while there were a lot of attempts at comedy by most of the cast members, only Grant and Pine were the ones who successfully got laughs out of the audience. It's been a while since I can recall a proper adventure movie like this, as the days of Indiana Jones and The Mummy were all done in the 80s and 90s, so it's refreshing to have another adventure film based on one of the most popular games of all time, even though I can't compare whether any of the film's events were accurate to any of the campaigns played out in the game. Of all video game or board game adaptations, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves secured a solid placing in being one of my top three favourite game adaptations in film, which isn't particularly a hard feat because the majority of them are bad, but nevertheless, I was entertained for the first and third act, since the second act is where where I struggled to get through it. After such a humorous and upbeat first act, the second half lost all of that spark that seemed to hook me in as an audience member, and instead dragged out the runtime to what ended up being a very overlong 134 minutes, so unfortunately this second act took me completely out of the film. However, the third act was where the excitement and investment truly lay and got me entertained enough in order to enjoy the conclusion of the story. Since a lot of the film's best moments are in its trailers, Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves still manages to provide a wonderfully fun experience, and even though it is very overlong and its second act severely lets the film down, I would not write this off as a bad movie, but I also wouldn't call it a great one. It did a wonderful job in being much better than its trailers, but the overall story is quite predictable and straightforward. I really enjoyed watching Chris Pine and Hugh Grant in their roles as they seemed to really embrace their characters and have heaps of fun with them, which definitely reciprocated to the audience who found fun in that aspect alone. It's a fun movie that doesn't define anything new, but it's a mindless adventure film that will take you on a journey that is sure to entertain you for two hours or so. This genuinely is the biggest surprise for me of the year, so I'll give Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves a 6 out of 10. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Letterboxd and Instagram for all of my latest movie reviews. This has been Kia's Reviews, signing off for now. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.